Give first a three between the Yanks and Rays at the Trop. It looked like it was going to be a great weekend in Boston with the Yanks poised to win three or four, but Flash, they end up losing three or four. They lost three or four, and two of those losses were just devastating for the Yankees. And then you throw on top of that an off day yesterday where you have extra time to think about it. So much negativity around the Yankees with that weekend, but they're looking for some positive news, and you mentioned it. Aaron Judge is back. Once he walks into that clubhouse, that's going to breathe some life into this team. Team. We know what type of a player he is out on the field, but maybe more importantly, showing up in the clubhouse and leading this team, trying to get them back on track. Right, he's their best player. Can he be the player who else gives them a boost? And we've asked this question over and over after the Yankees have had painful losses. How are they going to bounce back? This is another one of those situations, and it's perfectly appropriate to ask the Yankees, who are you at this point in the season? Their general manager, their manager, have all talked about how they have underachieved so how do you climb out of that hole? How do you change the narrative? It's about playing more consistent baseball and avoiding dreadful late-inning losses. They've had eight games that they eventually lost when they held the lead in the eighth inning or later. Well, we've got a lot to talk about here, but right now let's get out to Tropicana Field. Meredith Morakovic standing by with the Clubhouse Report presented by your local Ford stores. And Meredith, let's talk about reinforcements and the return of Aaron Judge tonight and how that might change things for the Yankees. Well, Bob, there's no doubt about it. The Yankees are excited to have Aaron Judge back in the lineup and back in right field. He was actually here at Tropicana Field about 3.30 this afternoon tracking some pitches and someone was throwing a bullpen. He came by and said he is ready to go tonight. You better believe that he's been upset that he hasn't been able to be in the lineup, missing 10 games post-All-Star break. Kyle Higashioka is also back. He is not in tonight's lineup, though. Earlier, Aaron Boone spoke about penciling number 99 back in the lineup. That's huge, obviously. Um, really excited to have him back. Um, we're over at the complex uh, yesterday where him and Luke and Higgy were all, um, you know, hit, hitting and hitting off the velo machine and breaking ball machine looking really good. So, yeah, obviously very excited to have him back.